Hello everyone and welcome to Pumpkin Manor, a Halloween themed puzzle map made by Mega Mushroom Jack. For Halloween week, um, which is this week, uh, I have decided to do a couple of Halloween maps because like, I want to get in the Halloween spirit. And one of my favorite parts about Halloween, because it is an awesome holiday, um, is dressing up. And to get into the spirit of Halloween, I have gotten myself a costume. Uh, because this is Pumpkin Manor, I have a little pumpkin oversized hoodie with some boots, uh, and I also have a little pumpkin on my head right there. Here you can see that I've got a little pumpkin on my head, and yeah, so I have dressed up for this uh, map, um, and let's get started. So, press to start. Set brightness to moody, turn up sounds, turn off music. All right, do not break blocks or heads unless told. Um, there are hints in each room if you need them, credits and links, um, and do not take items out of item frames unless you put them there. Okay, good to know. All right, so let's get right into this. I am now in survival mode, and here we've got a little raft out in the middle of the water. I do know that this map is on peaceful mode, so I don't really have to worry about any mobs. So this is the rusty pickle. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start exploring around here. Very nice build. This looks pretty cool. Show my respect for the dead with lilies of the valley. And this is a hint book. I'm gonna keep that just in case. Oh, okay, so I'm supposed to plant the flowers. Ooh. There's probably a puzzle that I have to solve in order to know which grave to put the flowers on that will open the door or something. And these faces might have something to do with it. Those are cute. I like those. The maze of murder. Well, I think being a maze. Oh. oh, okay. It is actually a maze of murder. So let's see if we can get through this. Oh, okay. So maybe I want to remember these heads. I'm going to write down or like draw a little sketch on this paper I have here of the heads so that I remember which ones are the ones that I found. Okay, I'm going to keep looking for more pumpkins. Ah, here's another one. Oh, I think I found, found the murder in the maze. That's mildly terrifying. Oh, I'm back at the start. Maybe if I go this way? Yes. Oh, it's a sunglasses pumpkin. <laughs> okay, and there probably should be one more... One more pumpkin in here somewhere. Alright, and here's the last pumpkin. Alright, so now I'm gonna head back to the beginning and put these lilies of the valley where they should go. So I think it's this one. It's that one. Um, this one? Yes, that one. And the sunglasses pumpkin. Yes, I heard something open. Yes, the door opened. Let's go. I don't think there's anything else out here that I need. So I'm gonna head inside. What's in this room? Ooh, floating book. Wonderful. Anything in the barrel? Ooh. Book of items. Okay. A hint, another hint book. A book of colors, and then just some books, and a skeleton skull. Okay. So, ooh. Cool. That's cool. These armor stand creations are pretty cool. I like them. I was told not to take any items from the item frames, but this order will probably come in later, in handy later, so I'm gonna remember that's there, just in case. Okay, I'm gonna head up the stairs. Oh, okay. How many floating books in the library? TikTok. So these all have, oh, some of them have hint books. Just one of them. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> um, how many lost, how many lost their heads in the nether? TikTok. How many skeletons in the lab? How many ghosts in the kitchen and pantry? Okay, so I know we need to figure out how many floating books there are. So I'm gonna count those. One, two, None over there. One, two, three. I think just three. Can only see three. So I'm gonna go with three on that one. Oh, there's a sign over here. Color item... Wait. 
color item turns. Okay. First clue, second clue. Okay, I'm gonna take the book. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna take the book. <laughs> that should make things a little bit easier. Um, let's see here. Anything else? Oh, so one door probably opens the next. Okay. So this one, I'm gonna set to three. Oh, okay. Twelve, three. Okay, so three o'clock there. Inside, oh. <laughs> okay, that was mildly terrifying. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, what is this book of colors? Red, blue, green, gold, iron, black, gray, pink, white. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Book of numbers and book of items. Book of numbers we already looked at. And book of items is an axe, sword, shovel, creeper, skeleton, zombie, rose, tulip, and lily. Interesting. And then I have three, 23 books and a skeleton skull. All right. Okay. So I have a book of colors, items, and numbers. Now this tells me that it's color items and then turns. So it goes that one and then that one. But then what's this? Turns. Oh, item frame turns. Like if I'm turning these. Oh, okay, okay. So that means that this. But like, what do these numbers mean? I have to look at a clue. I've been trying to figure out what they were, but I can't figure it out. Okay, so this is a hint book. On the next page is a hint. Only look if you are stuck. I am stuck. I've been trying. The numbers are binary. Oh, so they're coded. Okay, so the binary numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna use Google really fast and I'm gonna figure out what that binary, what this binary number means. Okay, so that binary number means 985. So going off of this, we go to page nine, which is white, eight, tulip, and then five turns. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay. And now next one, which is already in this kind of order. Okay, so I think it should probably just be six, four, six, because I've already got three numbers, and this one I will have to decode. So six is black, four, creeper black creeper but like okay I don't know here we'll try this we'll try the creeper head and then if not we'll do the wither skeleton skull because that's black but the creepers like green so we'll, we'll try that in a moment and then I will decode the last one from hexadecimal so I'm gonna decode this number okay um I don't know how hex hexadecimal code works that I I did some Google, I did some research, and Google gave me a four digit number, and I don't really understand. So the number gave me was, so the number was 1216. And let's see, in this book of items, so hold up, book of colors, one, red, two, huh? Sword, so like red sword doesn't work. I don't know how I did that. I'm gonna be honest, I was just flipping random things. I had that one, and Let's see. Okay, I don't get it. I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Bye. <laughs> that was not how I thought that would go. But that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. So now we are in this room. Um don't lose your head, unlike this guy. Okay. I won't. Good <laughs> trust me. Okay, a hint book will be taking that. Um and I think Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's just wool. Hmm. Should I go to the nether? I think that's our only option. Okay, we gotta go to the... Wait, what do we want from the nether? Hold up. Let's see. Let's go back. And what are we supposed to figure out in the nether? Um, how many lost their heads? How many lost their heads? Okay. Okay. I can figure that out. I feel like... I feel like Maui jumping in to the underworld. Okay. Uh, here we go. 
Oh no, oh no, no. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Return to the overworld, okay. Don't wanna do that. And, uh, okay, I'll be fine. So how many lost their heads? Am I assuming that the zombie piglins, oh, that scared me, I thought that was an actual magma cube. Um, are these guys the ones that lost their heads? Cause there are four of them. So we'll see, we'll see if they're the ones. Ooh, it's dark. Oh no. Oh. Whoa. Bro. Wait. That is cool. That is very freaky, but that is also cool. Is there anything? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> my heart, my heart stopped. No. Gosh, that was scary. Okay, is there anything else in here that is of significance? There's a tunnel here. Whoa, oh, okay, okay. Oh, so maybe it's these guys. Okay, so there's two. Uh, oh. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh, okay, here it is. Now, maybe if we wouldn't... Ah, here we go. So there's four. Oh wait, no, that's three. I've got the Grim Reaper. Good, good. Always, always want the Grim Reaper. Oh. Okay, this one's missing. Oh, no it's not. I'm just... They teleported. Oh, it is an Enderman noise, so maybe that makes sense. Okay, so there's four. Is there another one this way? Five. Okay, we are not going back in there. So I'm pretty sure it was five because that's all that I counted, and I think I counted that right. I don't want to return quite yet. I want to see if I can get up here and see if there's anything over here that I need to see. Oh, well, these people have seen better days. Uh, the uh, the Pumpkin King is... Ooh, a lever. Okay, I pulled a lever. Oh no. Oh no, it's the hermits. <laughs> The hermits are trapped. Oh, poor Mumbo. Mumbo's always getting... Mumbo's, Mumbo's always got problems going on. But I did flick a... Oh, wait, hold up, there's more levers. Maybe don't burn them in the fire. Ooh. Secret lever. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, wait, I got five pumpkins. Okay. That's something new. Uh, let's return to the overworld. Yes. Okay. Let's see. I think it's five. Oh, wait, I got five pumpkins. Hmm. Oh. Hmm, wait. Wait. Hold up. We're going back. We're going back. So I think I got those when I pushed the lever. Oh, come on. Okay. Um, so I think I got those when I pushed the lever and I can put out fires. We're gonna put out all the fires. Fires are out in here. Let's see, let's see if I can put the fire out in there. I didn't even try that. Let's see if any of this is going to tell me anything more because I know that I probably need to make that iron golem in order to get through there. Five pumpkins, six pumpkins, seven pumpkins. Okay, okay. I've got enough pumpkins. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we have pumpkins. We have pumpkins for days. And still nothing else but a couple of beheaded people and hermits. <gasps> oh, I missed one. I missed one. Okay, wait. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So I missed one. I was like going back around that pumpkin room to see if there was any that I didn't see for some reason. And there was. So there we go. And there we go. The Iron Golem. I have gotten him. Yes, I have hired some help. Please come help me. These guys seem to, that they could be having a better time. Oh, slime blocks. Okay. They could, oh, Frankenstein. Okay. Okay, find the riddle, write the answer on rotten flesh, drop here. Answer in all caps or else. A ghost whispers to you, 
the one who used it and never saw it. Oh no. Oh no, the riddles. The one who used it but never saw it. Okay, let's see. A ghost whispers to you. The one who built it, sold it. Okay. Spider eyes. Oh, a piece of flesh. Yes, yes. I need to write it on a piece of flesh. All right. Hmm, what else? Okay, here's another button. The one who bought it never used it. Okay, let's see. The one who used it never saw it. The one who bought it sold it. The one who bought it never used it. So this has to be... So three people. We've got someone who bought it but didn't use it. Someone who used it but never saw it. And so, okay, so this is a Halloween theme thing. So it has to be something to do with, like, death or, like, something scary or Halloween related. Because this is, that's the theme of the map. What's something Halloween? Okay, so, person who makes it. Wait, what was it again? One who bought it, sold it built it. The one who built it. Oh, okay. So this is something that, this is a physical object. The one who built it sold it. The one who bought it never used it. The one that used it saw it. Never saw it. Oh, <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Could it be, uh, it's gotta be something that's like a physical object. Uh, a coffin. It's a coffin. The one who built it sold it. So the person that built the coffin sold it to someone else. The one who bought the coffin bought it for someone else who was dead and because they never used it. And then the one that the one that used it never saw it because they were dead. It was a coffin. It's a coffin. It's a coffin. Okay, now where's the anvil? There's the anvil. Okay. Now. Let's see. Coffin. I think that's how you spell coffin. Okay, down here. Boop. Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. I'm so smart. Not really. That took a while. Okay, anything in here? Oh, no, just the piston door. Okay. What's in here? Oh, no. They're freezing in here. You know, maybe I shouldn't be just clogging up my inventory with all this stuff. You know, yeah, I'm not going to be clogging my inventory with all this stuff. If I need it, I'll come back for it. Okay. There's nothing in here that seems to be of any use. It's just kind of storage, general storage, okay. Let's see, anything in here? Yes, just more brewing supplies, really. Oh, this is the kitchen. How many ghosts are in the pantry? How many ghosts are in the pantry? Okay, hold up, can I get back to... Yes, okay. So, we're gonna go back, because there were five who lost their souls. And I'm going to look at the other question, the next question, anyway. How many have lost their heads? Their heads? We're going back to the nether, you guys. We're going back. Because I thought it was just, like... I don't know why I thought it was souls. Okay, how many lost their heads? Oh, probably in this room. How many, like, heads are there in this room? Without bodies. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Everyone in here has a body, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they all do. Well, that's good. <laughs> that, that's, that's, okay, that's good. So there's six heads in here. Okay, good, good, good. So six heads have been lost. So the clock needs to be at six o'clock. How many skeletons in the lab? Okay, skeletons in the lab and how many ghosts in the kitchen? Skeletons in the lab, there's one, there's two. Two skeletons in the lab. Beautiful, okay, ghosts. All right, we're gonna do some, some, counting here. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight right there, and then one in here? Is that a ghost? No, that's not a ghost. So there's one in the pantry, so that makes nine. So nine o'clock. All right, nine, and then two. All right, I heard the click. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go in this room first. Okay, the ritual requires nine. Oh, nine skulls. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hint book. Yes, please. Okay, so I am supposed to be breaking the skulls. So I need nine of them. And I know I put... Nope. I know I put a couple away. So we're going to see if we can find these. Oh, never mind. Here's a skull. Yes. Here it is. Right, this is nine. Yes. 
nine. Okay, nine skeleton skulls to do the ritual. So we're going to go in and with our, nope, <laughs> our nine skeleton skulls, we're going to see what this ritual is. Here we are. The ritual requires nine skulls. So I'm going to just, oh yes, they are all being taken. I don't know what that did, but I fed the machine nine skulls. Um, oh. Oh, I've opened half. Half of the, that area. So I'm assuming this puzzle here is going to be the other half. Now, let's see. Um, I probably have to figure out which ones of these to turn on. So there's a bunch of colors and then a bunch of symbols. So let's see. Colors and symbols. Uh, I'm going to actually read the hint because I don't want to like start going somewhere and then start in the bedroom. These blocks on the wall spell out the name of the items in the chest. Okay, the name. Spell out the name of of an item. Start with the bedroom. The blocks on the wall. Spell? Okay, hold up. Maybe they're each different parts. So O M L O M L V S W? No. S H I E L D? Shield, yes. Okay, so the blocks on the wall. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, I get it now. There's a shield, yes. So, what I did was I did, no. Okay, so, sandstone, so S, H for hopper, I for item frame, uh, E for endstone, L for lily pad, and then D for diorite. Okay, so there. And this is terracotta, so that's a bucket. Gravel, okay. Right there. Boop. Redstone. Okay, and then we've got redstone. Okay, so it doesn't want redstone dust, I'm assuming yes. Okay, there's all of that. Okay, so we have gravel, redstone, shield, and bucket. I'm gonna be honest, like, that really has no significance. I'm gonna read the book again. We're gonna see what next, because I have no idea. Once you work out which letter each block represents look at the signs these have names of different things oh some of these things are in the banners on the banners in the other room one more final hint each banner represents a letter each block also represents a letter start translating the banners into letters and you should get the message write out the alphabet if you need and put the names of the banners next to each letter okay i get it now i get it now okay so candle i'm gonna get more paper more scratch paper. Okay, so the candle would be G for gold. Okay, the bat would be R. Jack lantern is A. And then like all of the other ones. So I'm going to translate this all really fast. Okay, so I've got my little cheat sheet here of what all of the different letters correlate to in the signs. So now if I go in here, I should be able to figure this out. So here's my process. I'm going to Get more paper, more paper, so much paper. Okay, so uh, this first one here is a ghost, I'm pretty sure. So, and then I look on my list and ghost is B. So I'm gonna go B, and then this one is the smiling monster, which is L, B, L, pumpkin, or the jack-o'-lantern, I guess is what it's called, is A, black, I'm pretty sure it's his first word. Zombie villager is C. Yes, so the first word is black. And then I'm just going to figure out all the rest of these words in the same way, and then I will come back when I have done that. All right, so I've translated all this. So it's black, heart, blue, note, and then green, tick. And I don't know what the tick is. So, okay, let's see. Black, blue, and green. And then a heart, a note, and a tick. Uh, I'm going to say the check mark. Yeah, because you can call that a tick. So, yeah, the check mark. Now that should have opened the other. <gasps> Ooh, the other one. Ooh, okay. We're heading up to the top. We're going to not fall down. Ooh. Thanks for playing. Please consider leaving a rating or comment on the website. Oh my gosh, we did it! What is oh, it gives me a pumpkin head. 
that goes quite well with my costume. But thank you all so much for watching, and thank you to Mega Mushroom Jack for making this map. It was very fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, it will be linked in the description if you guys would like to play it for yourselves. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I will see you all next time. Bye! It's got Cursive Binding on it.